Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Tunisia's Locks Beauty Tips and Potpourri. I'm going to take these rollers out so that you can see my curls. All I did was put in these sponge rollers, which I love. You guys know that I am the go-to person for the what they call pipe cleaners, right? The pipe cleaners, I love those the most, but they take a lot longer. They're not really the best on your hair in terms of health and tangles and pulling and all of that. And they're kind of uncomfortable to sleep in. These are easy to sleep in. They are wonderful. The only drawback is that you need tons of them. And also they're too short. Okay, but we have some remedies for that moving forward. You can see I left out this piece of hair here. So what I do when I leave out pieces of hair like that is I go through with a pipe cleaner and I just roll it up with that and I'll let it stay on and it'll hide in here with all of this other hair. But I just wanted you to see it. It took me, while I was on my, my bike exercising, I did this. So it took me maybe like 15, 20 minutes to get these in. Ideally, what you would want to do is have your hair, you want to curl them longer. I was doing this late last night. I was up pretty late. So, and it's, it's pretty early this morning, so they haven't had a lot of time to really do their thing and get really tight. And I don't use any setting lotion, although I will tell you what I did. But anyway, the key to these is to just put the rollers in, in the direction that you want your curls to be in. I tend to like a more spiral curl, so I will wrap the hair starting from the bottom and I'll just go up, up, up until I reach the top. And I'll give it a little bit of a pull like this without pulling my hair. And then I'll just go from there. Now, the, the size of the roller doesn't really matter. Um, for the most part, it's going to be the amount of hair that you put on the roller. Because this is going to be the same as this, really. Um, there's a very marginal difference. I don't even know, no, there's no difference in the plastic here. And so it's gonna be roughly the same. What's going to be the determining factor of the way the curl is gonna look is how you place the hair on the roller and also the size or the amount of hair that you put on the roller in the first place. Those are going to be key. Now, if you want tighter curls and you want your curls to last for over a week, put them in uh earlier in the evening leave them in as late in the morning as you can also if you can leave them in for more than one day do that the other option is to use a setting lotion i think i did that years ago i haven't used one recently but you can use a setting lotion and uh that the setting lotion is going to make a big difference I think lotion will make a big difference. Now, what I did do is I didn't use my oil, which is what you see me putting on here now. You can, but what I did was I took an extra spray bottle that I had and I added water about, uh, about two-fifths of the way, a third of the way. And then I added a little bit of um, jojoba and I believe I put some... I put a little rosemary and lavender and I put some jojoba and what was the other oil <laughs> that I put in there? Oh, a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. The olive oil is heavier and I shook it very, very well. Um, I ran my fingers through my hair first with water, kind of doing this thing here. And then what I did was once I pulled each section of hair, I would just hold it shake really well and spray this up to about half the lock or the part that I really want it to curl. So the point is you want your hair to be nice and damp. All right. And as long as you are sleeping in the evening at night and your hair is not soaking and you're not sleeping in the cold, it should have plenty of time to dry. The sponge is going to allow it to breathe some. It should have plenty of time to dry and time for you to wake up and be beautiful. More beautiful than normal with your lovely, lovely locks.
This is a carefree way to bounce. If you want a feminine hairstyle, okay? Now, the uh, pipe cleaners, oh, obviously they're curls, so they're a feminine style, but they're a little bit more masculine energy than the bounce and the pure circular harmony that you get when you use the, uh, the sponge. It's so beautiful, right? Don't you just love it? And it was time for some curls. Y'all know I just got my retightening not even a full week ago. Two days for the retightening. Eight hours and she didn't wash it. And she wants me to let her wash it and steam it next time. So we may be looking at 10 hours. Wonderful, beautiful, wonderful lady. I like her approach. I didn't feel any pain. Uh, that's definitely a seller for me. Y'all know that especially as my hair gets longer. And as your hair gets longer, we must be vigilant. What is this? We must be vigilant. So now, do as I say, not as I do. With these particular rollers, as you know, the reason why we gave up on sponge when we were coming up is because they broke the hair, they dried it out and all of that good stuff. Uh you can oil your hair before you do this i'm going to oil it after you can also use the end wrappers that's the way i used to do it i would take the time to use the end wrappers but y'all i'm still not sure where my end wrappers are those bags are not fully unpacked yet and they're in the bathroom closet so i didn't have my end wrappers handy but normally to protect the ends from drying out and clearly if you have color on your hair as well um the end wrappers at least the rinse will if you have a rinse in your hair it's going to kind of preserve keep the color from getting on your clothing on your bed it's going to absorb some of the coloring but as you can see, depending upon the, the hair and where it's located, I tend to do a little smaller in here. And on the very bottom, I tend to do smaller amounts of hair because I want a tighter curl. Because what is moving along the back of your neck uh, or your clothing, I should say, is going to be, you know, it's getting more wear and tear, more traffic. So those curls are going to give out a lot faster. I think by now I probably have... I have more than 30 sponge rollers in my hair and ideally next time what I'm going to try y'all we'll try this maybe not my next video but the, the second or third video after that we're going to try double the number of rollers for a much smaller tighter set I might actually look like uh, I might actually have an afro they may look like really tight to my hair but I want to try that out and I may get some setting lotion. It's gonna be raining a lot here where I am in this part of Georgia for the next several days. So I got that humidity I'm dealing with too. And y'all, my hair is always the type. I don't care where I was living. Before I had braids when I was in high school, I would leave the house with my lovely style. And by the time I got to walking a half a block down the sidewalk to get to school, my curls were already flat. That humidity. Now, normally I would pull these out. Let's just go ahead and do it. So you can see, for this just to have been a small amount of time, this is this is this is this is beautiful, right? Yeah, these curls look wonderful. They really do. Curls, curls. See if I can get the picture for the thumbnail, y'all, so I don't have to go back later and do it. As you can see, I'm leaving this one in there. And I have another pipe cleaner in here somewhere else. Yeah, these little things can hide from you. They really do. Now, I'm not going to roll this up tonight. I'm not going to do anything special when I get in the bed tonight, as in putting it up. Y'all know I'm low maintenance. I don't believe in, you hear me talk about the tyranny of hair care. I don't believe in being enslaved. So I'm not trying to look like a model when I go to bed, and I'm not trying to look like one when I wake up. I'm not trying to hide from the reality of nature. 
not that any of you who take those careful precautions are, but that's just not my thing. I need low maintenance. I don't like to spend a lot of time on hair. And even before I had my locks, I was a seven to 10 minute person in the mirror every morning. I need a quick makeup routine. This is the I Am Melanin Magic Oil, and it is magical. I've got to go through and put this on my whole scalp at some point later on, but I'm already dressed, so it's not the best idea. I just want to get the top, and you can get this from the I Am Melanin Magic website, IamMelaninMagic.com. Shout out to all of you who are supporting the brand. Okay, so take a look. Okay, here's one that didn't get rolled up well. This is one of my sh shorter locks. A victim, no doubt, of lint picking, pulling, taking out, putting the lock back in, plaiting it down to the ends. <laughs> All that stuff y'all know I be doing. I be, I be doing. So here we go, y'all. Here is the style with all the curls. I like that. What y'all think? It's beautiful, right? Like you can't compare these to the tighter paint uh, pipe cleaners. You just can't compare. They're, they're, they're not the same. Oh, and we're finding extra rollers everywhere. This is going to give your hair more volume it's going to give it the perception of greater density. It's going to make your hair bouncy. And if you're looking for bragging rights, or if you want compliments, or you're going out for the evening, and you just want to put your hair up, and look, I got these great, really thick hair bows. And actually, I got these great, this won't, this will be too much, but I have this great, huge clip that will let me just sit right here, and I could have it up like this if I want it. Now, I can still get this in here. Let's do it, y'all. Let's just be creative. There's more than one way to skin a cat, right? We're going to take a piece of hair. This is what we're going to use to hold it, Okay. We got a roller right there we got a high and since we got this going across here see now this is kind of too big and bulky it's actually too big and bulky but that can still work right and I'm not like I was trying to be perfect but I kind of like the style to look messy sometimes I think sometimes the more effort you put into something the crazier it can look and the more natural you let your hair fall sometimes and that doesn't mean I need that to be hanging like that but sometimes you'll find that the style that's a little more organic is more attractive so what do y'all think I like that I don't think I'm gonna wear this like this today so here we go these are the sponge rollers. Those are the tips. Dampen your hair prior to rolling it up. Use end papers. If you don't want your hair to get particularly dry at the end, give yourself a little gloss with some type of um, oil spray, something very light. I Am Melanin Magic Oil is great. Prior to putting your hair in the rollers, what you can do is take a bottle, a spray bottle, fill it up with a little bit of this, add the rest water, or two thirds of the bottle water, shake really well, spray on your hair, okay? That way you're not only getting a beautiful style, but you're getting great conditioning as well. This is much shorter, I think, y'all. I'm gonna roll this one up too, okay? So I hope that you like what you see I hope that you like the curls. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. 
like share and subscribe if you haven't purchased my book manifesting your masterpiece it is not a chapter book it's a one day or one moment a day read or one day a week read to help you up level your life to gain clarity and to heal emotional and energetic blocks so here we go y'all with that curls lots of curls bye